What's up? It's your boy, Chase Timothy Hughes. I'm here with your co-host, Nathaniel something, whatever his last name is. And these are your morning announcements. Good morning, Southern Academy! It's Monday, September 23rd. I'm Chase. And I'm Seth. Here with your morning announcements. Hi guys, this is Austin. This is your bi-weekly Bearcast. B-Day announcements messed up, so they called in the big dogs. I'm Gooch. And I'm Caden. This is your morning announcements. What's up, guys? It's your host, Chase Timothy Hughes. This is my co-host. Asher Stanford Abraham. Abraham. Yep. Uh, and we're here to give you some more announcements. Hey Bears, it's Maddie and Abby here. Good morning, uh, I'm Gage Sessions. And I'm Lance. And these, these are your morning, morning announcements. What's up, Summit Academy? Uh, today I went to a bunch of seniors' houses, gave them a donut, and had them answer a few questions. So, here's that. Honestly, should. Here's the rules, though. <laughs> Here's a donut. Oh. I got all messed up. They used to say 2020. But... Okay. That's someone. Hi, love. How are you? Good. How are you? You want a donut? Yeah, I love you. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm this one. Okay, so you want a donut? Oh, my God. There's so Oh, I want, I want the yellow. Alright, so, what was your favorite memory from senior year? I wasn't there a lot, so I feel like Um, actually, this is like barely was in the school year. I really liked senior sunrise because it was like really fun to see everybody and just I'm not really seniors. So, seeing everybody for the first time for senior year. Yeah. Um, a good question. Probably senior sunrise because we all just sat and were eating donuts and we were being really stupid. And it was really fun. Oh, after the football game is one of like the first football games. I forgot who we were playing, but we went bridge jumping like me and. <laughs> Me and Brooke and Abby and anyway, I'm not gonna say everyone, but yeah, a big group is super fun. Uh, Sadie's was fun. Oh, um, my favorite memory. Well, this is gonna be one of them, the donut, because this is amazing. Um. The assemblies, I really like the assemblies and um, the football games. It's fun to see people come together. And, yeah, I guess so. I don't really know specific memories, but yeah. Right. My favorite memory was bringing the hamster to Miss Davis's class. <laughs> <laughs> that was iconic. Um, yeah. Uh, when me, me and some of my friends, I can't get in trouble anymore, right? Yeah. Me and some of my friends poured Diet Dr. Pepper down the volleyball thing freshman year. Alright, and what college are you going to? Westminster, Sugar House. I'm going to go to Slick to finish up my associates. Yes. Um, what are you studying? Math. Going to USU. What are you studying? I'm studying equine science and business management. <laughs> no idea. Alright. <laughs> Any idea what you want to study though? Yeah, I want to go to med school. I'm going for that. <laughs> um, I'm going to join, I'm going to be joining the Marine Corps. Marine Corps so I'll be shipping out July 20th. Hi, Rich. Um, yes, I'm going to go part-time at Slick and part-time at the U. Awesome, what are you studying? I don't know yet. I'm thinking business right now, but we're still trying to figure it out. Oh gosh, do I have to say that one? I want to say slick. <laughs> I was so bad too. Uh, I'm going to slick and finishing there, and then I'm going to go up to the end to get my master's in something. Uh, anything else you want to say? Class of 2020. <laughs> I love you, Bears, and I'll probably come visit next year. Yeah. <laughs> go, Bears, roar! <laughs> Bye, son. Um, I love you guys. I miss you. Sad we couldn't finish out the rest of our year. And yeah, hopefully you guys all do good in the future. Miss you. 
Alright, so I'm going to answer a few of those same questions that I asked them because, I don't know, maybe some of you want to know what I have to say, what my plans are for the future. Um, my favorite memory from senior year was probably Miss Davis's class. The assignments were a lot and I did not like most of them, but overall it was just really fun. Uh, my friends and I had it all together all year and it just, there were so many wild things that happened. We played Minecraft in class, we brought hamsters to class, watermelons, it was just, it was wild. I'm sorry Miss Davis, I love you. Um, yeah, A4, 10, 10, and 20, 10 was a wild time. It was like the wild west, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be attending UVU in the fall to study journalism and broadcasting. I hope to one day become a reporter. Um, you can credit that to Mr. Fonda. His class was also a really good time and it made me fall in love with videography and that kind of stuff. Um, and the last thing I want to say is just uh, thank you to all of my friends and teachers that have uh, helped me and supported me over these last four years. Um, I am very grateful for the memories. I'm very sad that we didn't get to finish out our senior year the way we hoped. Uh, but again, thank you to all, all the teachers that have helped me in the last several years. Fonda, Miss Davis, Miss um, Tony, all of you guys have been great. Um, and I'm going to miss you all. Go Bears Rock. Feel like I could rule the world, I know I could be what I want to uh, Above all, be yourself all the time, let no one tell you what you can't do It's all about life and progression, motivation and the lessons And the blessings that come with it all And if you feel like quitting, don't stop, keep going Cause you know they love to see you fall I don't know about you, but I'm trying to ball Cause I ain't had enough and I deserve it all I put my all in it like no days off On the road, let's travel, never looking back like, Oh yeah, uh, feel like a road I don't wanna hide it uh -uh. Oh yeah. yeah, on top of the world Nothing gonna stop me nah. Ain't nobody telling me no I'm catching feels wherever I go uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. The brand new lettuce face mask. Because of its organic nature and high water content, the lettuce face mask is a perfect mask for you. Just wear it over your mouth and nose with these two attachment strips. Wearable for 10 hours straight. The lettuce mask is perfect for the whole family. The lettuce mask is also biodegradable, so that will come in handy. Get it now for only $4.99 per mask on lettucemask.com. Hey brother, how you doing? Hi there. How you doing, bro? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Uh, big things and are I'm good. good. It's, all, it's been all good for me too. I got one of them new Bass Pro spinner fishing reels from Bass Pro Shop. I'm actually thousand? I'm actually thousand, yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I did have to max out a credit card for that. I maxed out all three. Dude. All three of them. The gongs. The wife would kill me if she knew. The wife? She's shopping today. What do you mean she's shopping today? That was today? Today's shopping day. <laughs> today was shopping day? Did that hurt? Don't answer. Don't answer. Don't answer. Don't answer. Don't answer. Don't answer. Oh, no. it, it, it. What do you mean? Now there's money on there. Now there's plenty. Fast Pro Shop? No. Yes. I did. Tell him I'm not here. Tell him I'm not here. He says he's not here. Hey baby. Yeah, I know I I know I said I'd stop. I, I know I know 
the credit card's yours next month, okay? I won't even, I won't even get it next month. I, okay, but I'll take it back, I'll take it back, okay, okay. Oh. Love you too, baby. She wants to talk to you again. Oh, hang on now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, let's, uh, so today me and Logan are cleaning out the upstairs of our house because why are we cleaning this up Logan we moved yep we moved and this sucks our whole quarantine's been moving haven't had a chance to do anything else so we just did fishing upstairs and then we're heading back to the apartment Woo! All right, now we gotta take all this stuff to the storage unit. How is it, Logan? It's fine. You bored? You done with this yet? Yes. Yeah, me too. So we just got done unloading our old house, getting rid of all the trash and stuff, and then we have to go deep clean it later, but then we're taking a bunch of stuff too back to our apartment. And then we're just gonna unpack it and chill for the rest of the day because we're still on quarantine and there's snow outside so you can't really do anything outside either. So, I guess today is just gonna be edit the video and play video games. So, just roll up to our new apartment. It's, um, my dad was making it seem like it was gonna be awful, but it's actually way better than we thought. Like our expectations were like a dump, cockroaches that we'd make friends with, but it's actually pretty nice and more spacey than I thought. So we're just right up here to the left. I'll give you a quick little tour. Jackson Thorne and we're on MTV Cribs. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> oh. Welcome to my crib. and now we're done with our ramen. I have my own little ramen recipe. I add uh, crushed red pepper, basil leaves, and then I, what was the last thing? Oh, obviously the ramen packet. And then I put a Traeger smoke rub in there, like a beef flavored one, because that was beef ramen. And it all comes together, makes it better, and a little more spicy, and it's just, it's, it's better. Just got done playing COD, got some pretty cool clips to use, and now it's on to Homework. Gotta do homework. Guy versus high school. A new way to use 
survival. Alright guys, I know Guy isn't here, but the show must go on. I, uh, I, his cameraman, will be taking over. I will be teaching you guys how to survive high school in quarantine. Let's get to the first step. Alright, first things first. We're going to need necessities such as food, entertainment so you do not lose your mind, and lastly, we need a way to do homework, such as a computer, laptop, and such. But that means we'll have to go out there. That's the danger zone. I have family members out there. We must keep six feet apart as to not break quarantine so let's go we're going to have to be as stealthy as possible as to not be caught on our mission first we'll go up these stairs I know my siblings tend to be on the computer either doing homework or watching YouTube as you can see there's one there we must quietly sneak around him. And there's the other. He saw us. Now we continue. Just making sure to make no sudden movements as to not startle them. There's one seems to be laughing at some YouTube video. We must be careful. He's seen us. Wait till he looks away, and then you can go. As to not startle them. This one. This one seems to be really enjoying a YouTube video or a nice talk to her friends. We must sneak by to get the first thing the food. She's distracted by something. Anyways, we need something to carry all of this. We'll use this to carry it. First things first, let's put these into this tub here. Quite a simple process, but dangerous. Getting caught could mean your life. She is really enjoying that YouTube video. It should be easier to sneak by. Next thing we'll need is our technological device to do homework with. Oh, that was a close one. So let's just put this laptop into the tub. After this, we will need to get some form of entertainment as to not go insane. Alright, I believe I left my switch in its case in the TV room, but that means we have to sneak by them again. This could possibly not end well for me. She seems to be distracted still with her YouTube video. Just gotta sneak right by. He's completely unaware. Well, he has seen me. Just stay completely still. And he won't notice. That YouTube video he's watching must be hilarious. So is hers some reason they're laughing hysterically that's dangerous as that could be signs of they've broke quarantine they could be in danger so let's grab this case and after that we'll head back to the safety of our home or room just gotta quietly walk right back down 
as not to be caught by these two rascals. He has seen us. Okay, let's continue. This one's extra vigilant. Just move inch by inch. If you slowly move, he will not strike. And we're safe. Alright. Now we are finally back to our room with all we need to survive. A tub full of all the necessities. Now I must teach you the next step. Alright. Let's get into the next step. Our next step will be fortifying this room as to not let anyone in. First, we must cover up that window so no one can see we are in here. I will be using this blanket. We will need to get everything off of it as to jam the edges of this blanket into that crevice up there, keeping it suspended mid-air so that it will make as a good makeshift curtain. With that, I will have to set down the camera, so we will be right back. Two thousand years late. Oh, guys, so, I've grown tired of playing Celeste and listening to Van Tassel's voice. Uh, uh, I think I've, uh, I finally cracked. I've, I've finally cracked. And, uh, I've come up with a solution. This should get me out of quarantine fast. So, the final, final step of surviving quarantine is quite simply let's turn off all these lights good enough luckily it's night time for me that's the only time you can summon the devil all right so I start the chanting and this should bring the devil to Help us get out of this quarantine. Cause I I've tried everything else. This is the only way to survive quarantine. Let's do this.